not my journal, my journey that I would ever crave. Girl, I know, I know, I can tell. I just kind of threw something together. January 1st is gonna be here, and then January 1st, my babies get to eat biscuits. Hey guys, it's Jill, welcome back to my channel, and if you are new here, welcome. Today's video is going to be a what I eat in a day, and I know, I know I said that I wasn't going to show any food on this channel, but as I've been thinking and meditating and kind of thinking about whether to let this channel go or whether to keep it going, I really feel like I'm doing a disservice to the people that need to see my journal, my journey, not my journal, my journey, if I don't continue on this journey, no matter what it looks like, not getting on the scale, it is still a weight loss journey and it is still just as valid as anyone else's weight loss journey out there. So I know I've been not very present, but I'm coming back and I'm coming back with a vengeance. December is gonna be a little not my normal schedule as far as uploads and everything because if you guys don't know, I'm doing Vlogmas over on my main channel, which is Miss Green Eyes, and that has taken up so much of my time, but we are here today and in January you can definitely expect more workout stuff, more things, more trying on jeans, more like all of the things that I'm trying to do here for me and my health and my journey that I'm going to share with you guys as well. And I'm going to try to not overthink it as much as I have before in the past. But I do wanna say this video is sponsored by Built Bar, so huge thank you to Built Bar for sponsoring this video. You guys, you guys, you guys, you guys, you need to get this coconut brownie chunk if you haven't, if you haven't tried it, if you've tried their other one or the last one that they did, cause I tried it too and I was like, ah, it's good, but I don't see what the hype is. They redid it and when I tell you this tastes like a candy bar, I kid you not. This is so good. If you like coconut, like it's just the consistency. The consistency is perfect. The outside is like chocolatey and delicious and the inside isn't too chewy or too tough. Oh, it is, it's perfect. And then you have brownie, like legit chunks of brownie on the top. So good. They also have puffs as well, which I highly recommend. Also because they are chocolate covered marshmallows. I mean, who doesn't love marshmallows? <laughs> Your girl loves them, I love them. So yeah, link is down below for you guys to save 10%. All right, let's go ahead and get into this, what I eat in a day, and you guys can see what I've been eating so that I could stay on track and be as healthy as possible and feel my best. And I don't know, can you tell I've lost weight? I mean, girl, I know, I know I can tell. I know I don't need a scale. Like that's what, there was so much, so many people like, uh, I don't wanna be a part of this journey if I'm not gonna see numbers on a scale. And it's like, you're still gonna see me like lose a weight. You don't need to know a number. I don't need to know a number. Maybe you do, I don't. I don't need to see a number because I can look at myself and be like, damn girl. You are losing some weight. All right, let's get into the video. This morning I am having avocado toast. So what I do is I make one egg and I have half of an avocado here. I have some lemon juice, so I'll squirt that on top. I'll take a couple, maybe about a tablespoon of some salsa. Everything but the bagel seasoning goes on top after I mash up the avocado and put it on top of my toast. And this is what I've been using for toast lately. This is from Target. And it is their bakery sourdough bread, which is really good. And then I will just make a, oh no, that's for my daughter. I'll make an egg, put that on the side, and usually I'll have a fruit. Unfortunately, I don't have any fruit. Like I'll have berries, or <clears throat> lately I've been also having pomegranates, but I actually am all out of fruit. And I usually save having an orange for later on, so I don't know. <clears throat> I might cut up a tomato. 
I have I have a tomato actually in the fridge so I might do that as like my quote-unquote fruit because it's kind of considered a fruit or whatever but I'm gonna go ahead and as assemble all of this and then I'll show you my plates this has been my go-to breakfast and it is so incredible. I never in a million years thought that I would ever crave avocado toast or even like avocado toast. I have said for years, I don't like avocados. They're yucky. I don't understand the hype. Yada, yada, yada. And I'm telling you this, I used, I went from having eating breakfast, which would always be a yogurt, a Chobani flip. If y'all remember, you know, if you know, you know. Um, but I had that and then I would, I think I would have a fruit on the side. Um, and then I would have to have an at like a morning, mid morning snack, but this holds me over until lunch. And sometimes like right now it's 742. Sometimes I don't eat until around one or two because this holds me over that much. So anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and put all this together because I'm running out of time. Okay, so here is breakfast, avocado toast with an egg on the side. And I decided to cut up some of the tomato and I just put some more everything with the bagel seasoning on top of that as well. And then also I forgot to tell you guys that I add some red pepper flakes onto my avocado toast. And then of course I have my water and that is today's breakfast. It is lunchtime and I just kind of threw something together because I really don't have much in there for lunch. As you guys can see, this is like one of those days where I really didn't, I didn't really plan much this week. Um, but I don't keep much in my house as far as like temptation. So I'm not worried about the fact that I didn't like super duper plan. I have stuff, but this is what I came up with. I need, I definitely need some more fruits and veggies. This was the last of what I have as far as greens. This is arugula, so I went ahead and I threw it in a bowl. And then, y'all, I have been doing this lately. Yesterday, I made a chicken burger, and I did this, and I cut up a tomato, and I did it just like this with some everything but the bagel seasoning. And, oh, my gosh, that was the best chicken burger that I've ever had in my life. It was so freaking good. This makes such a difference. I have been so obsessed with this lately. So anything that I will put tomato on, a burger, a chicken burger, a sandwich, a sub, salad. I will put the everything with the bagel seasoning on there first. Oh my gosh, so good. Seriously, you guys, if you don't know what to do with this, like I just bought this. <laughs> I'm already almost out because I use it so much. It's so good. So anyways, I'm just gonna take this tomato that's coated with everything but the bagel seasoning, put it on top of my arugula, along with the cucumber, that I just chopped up and then I also have some croutons and then this is going to be my dressing. I got this from Target. It's basically like their version of the Bolt House Farms Greek yogurt ranch dressing. It's really good and it has 60 calories. So actually the Bolt House Farms is less because for two tablespoons you only have 45 calories and I think that their fat is a lot less than the four and a half that you have in Target. I honestly, I tasted both of them together, so they really don't taste any differently. So I would definitely go with the Bull House Farms because it's lower in calories and fat and all this stuff. But I'm gonna take two tablespoons of that. I'm actually gonna weigh it out. So I do 30, actually I do 45 because 30 grams. Well, this little salad, I'll probably do 30. Um, but anyways, over here, I have some brown rice from Trader Joe's. It's just like in the freezer section. I cut up the box so I could have the instructions and I literally just put it in my freezer like this. I'm gonna give y'all a tip. Just right here underneath the, the ice thing. So I always remember, but then I also have my stuff and I don't have the big old box taking up room in my freezer because as you can see I have a very small freezer <laughs> not what I'm used to um, okay so yeah I just put it underneath there and then that way I always have the nutritional information and I also always have the instructions on how to cook the rice so here we go I have a cup of that and then I have some taco meat that I had browned up the other day with some sour cream on top just got this from Target and then I don't have any cilantro fresh cilantro or any of the other things I would add in here, like lime, 
I do have salsa, but I'm kind of running low on that and I need that for my avocado toast. So I'm just going to have it like this and I just sprinkled on some dried cilantro. So I'm going to go ahead and assemble my salad and then I'll show you guys what my lunch looks like. And I am working on another 32 ounces of water. Okay, so here we go. Here is lunch. Brown rice, taco seasoning. No. Nope. <laughs> Brown rice, taco meat, sour cream, dried cilantro, and then this beautiful colorful salad with arugula, tomato, with everything but the bagel seasoning, cucumbers, the ranch dressing, and then croutons. For snack, this is my everyday snack, y'all. Every single day without fail, this is exactly what I have. A Built Bar, specifically this one. If you guys have not tried the new coconut, like how they redid it, oh my freaking gosh. These literally taste like candy bars. I kid you not. They are so good. They are the coconut brownie chunk. And the inside is not chewy. It's not hard. It's just the perfect consistency. And then you have little brownie chunks all on the top. It is so freaking good. And I highly recommend. This is the second batch that I personally bought. The first one I wasn't like super crazy about. But this one, the revision of it, oh my gosh. They should still have them on the site. So I highly recommend. And then I will also have a bag of veggie straws. Um, I don't particularly care for the sea salt. I usually like the ranch or the cheddar, but my daughter, no. I've been eating the heck out of them. She usually eats these, but she hasn't eaten them yet, so I am calling dibs on these. And then I'm having two cuties, and then I also have another water that I'm working on. I just filled this one up, so that is what I'm having for snack. Let me show you my Built Bar stash, by the way. I have to redo this. I'm gonna redo this on my other channel, but I got these for a Black Friday sale. They are really good. These are the Ruby Ruby chocolate, and it's like a pink chocolate. It's such a pretty bar, and then it's the puff, so it's the marshmallow. And then on the inside, it has like raspberry filling. So if they still have these, I recommend. They're very good. And then I also have the mint puffs, and then the coconut puffs, and then they also did a a Black Friday special where they were giving away free these like caramel nut crave bars. They're really good. And then I have a bunch. I, I bought a, a box. I should have bought another one of the coconut brownie chunk. And then I have my cookie dough. I must say, you know, y'all know my love affair with the cookie dough. Nothing compared to these now. Oh my gosh, they're so good. I mean, they're both delicious, obviously. So that's my built bar stash. And then I have a bunch of like just the coconut ones and then the other batch of the coconut brownie in there as well back there so yeah that's my built bar stash I've been loving them so much lately and like I said I literally eat one every single day whether it's a built bar or a built puff they have just been my go-to because I'm usually either working or on the go like right now I'm about to go pick up my son so I'm just always always busy and I need on the go snacks so I will see you guys for dinner. I did a whole explanation video of what I was doing, but that file unfortunately was corrupt and is corrupt. So we're just going to move right into this file, which is showing me making the next day's lunch. But basically what I did was I made pasta and I was trying to show you the way that I've been having to make things like pasta or rice or things like that for myself along with cooking for my kids. So what I did was I do, I weigh out the pasta separately when it's dry and then I will boil water and I will cook my pasta separately. And then if you see the gray bowl over there, it's dirty. Um, did I put it in that, in the pink little saucepan? I can't remember, but I had weighed out my sauce and my ground beef. So that way I had exact measurements. Um, and then I also had some cream cheese that I added into my pasta as well. And it's just lean ground beef. Uh, what were those kind of noodles? Egg noodles, Trader Joe's tomato basil pasta sauce, which is amazing. And then lean ground beef. <laughs> I'm like, did I get all that? Um, yeah, and it was incredible. And I highly recommend. That is if you eat pasta, of course. So here is my dinner. It is absolutely delicious. 
the way that I made it, yes, it's way more time consuming. And yes, I made some for tomorrow's lunch, which made it even more time consuming, but I know exactly how much I'm eating. And this is what I've been having to do for portion control, especially for things like rice or pasta. I really have to kind of weigh them out and do them separately until I can kind of eyeball and get better at that. So yeah, this is dinner. My babies get to eat biscuits. Well, I don't, but it's okay. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, I probably won't eat anything tonight. But if I do, I will see you guys then. Okay, so it is 10.39, and I'm actually still working. It's in the little corner over there. So I decided to make myself a cup of tea, and how I make this tea, it's so delicious. First of all, here's my cute little Keurig. I will link it down below because it's so pretty, and it matches my aesthetic perfectly, which is, if you didn't know, well, minus the Christmas stuff, it's usually pink and gray, but... Um, I do this. So, this cookies and cocoa coffee mate creamer. I do two tablespoons so it adds, hold on, I gotta do this real quick so I get all my cream. And it also cleans off the spoon. Um, but yeah, 70 calories and then it adds, I think it's like 10 carbs and 10 sugars, which is a lot, I know. I'm going to look and see if they have this in sugar-free, because if they do, then I will get it in the sugar-free version. But, yeah, that's what I'm doing now. And then I just do one packet of stevia in the raw. And then this is the actual tea. So it's, sorry, I'm like trying to talk over my Keurig maker. But um, it's the Tezo Glaze Lemon Loaf. You guys, this is incredible. I wish I could find some more dessert flavored teas that are not, that are caffeine free because I am very sensitive to caffeine. So that's why I never really drank tea or anything. Well, I never really liked tea, but this, this is good y'all. Then you add the, the creamer, it's just so, so, so good. So I will steep this for like five minutes. Five minutes, starting now. And then it'll be ready to go. I'm just gonna go ahead and turn this thing off. Unplug this. I'm actually really ready to go to bed, I'm not gonna lie. But I figured that I would, this smells incredible by the way, like smell it already. Um, <clears throat> I figured I would make a cup of tea because I probably still have about another 30 minutes of work to do. Um, so yeah, this is why I haven't been uploading over here by the way guys, because my plate is overflowing over on Miss Green Eyes with Vlogmas. Um, like I said, like most nights, this is this is my night. Like working until 11 is not a new thing for Vlogmas season. But yeah, that's where I've been. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna let this steep and then finish my night off with this. And that'll do it for this, what I eat in a day. Okay, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Again, definitely you're gonna see me more on this channel but you're not gonna see me like super consistent until January rolls around because like I said, I'm working on Vlogmas. I literally, like I told you last night, I was working till like 11. I drank my cup of tea and I was sitting there waiting for my video to upload and I was watching it back to make sure I didn't make any mistakes. I didn't go to sleep till after 12.30 last night because I've just been working so much. So please excuse the fact Please excuse my absence on this channel in December. I also had a lot of things to really go through and think about it. Was this channel worth it? <clears throat> People don't want to see it. But you know what I'm believing? I'm standing in faith and I'm believing that the people who need to see this part and this different kind of weight loss journey are going to be brought to my channel. Because there are people out here that need this. There are people out there that I specifically can inspire because no my weight loss journey is not a traditional like what you think of as a traditional weight loss journey but again it doesn't make it any less valid <clears throat> of a journey and it also doesn't mean that i'm not actively losing weight i'm just healing the inside you know the reason that the, the things that got me to this weight i am healing those things actively 
as I'm losing weight. And unfortunately, the, the scale, I've said it a million times on this channel, maybe not a million, but a hundred times, that the scale is a huge trigger for me. And I probably will never get on a scale. I've just lost any kind of importance that the scale had in my life. I really have lost that importance because to me, I can look at myself, I can look at pictures beforehand, I can feel the clothes that I'm wearing, and I can feel that they are getting bigger and I am shrinking. You know, I don't need a scale to tell me that. I feel amazing, I have never felt better, and if you guys wanna see that, you can go over to my Miss Green Eyes channel because I, this holiday season, did exactly what I said I wanted to do, which was stay away from the food and live life. You know, I would sit here and watch these Hallmark movies and want their life or want to spend Christmas the way that they were. And I was so depressed and I couldn't get off the couch because all I was doing was eating and gaining weight and I couldn't gain control of the food. And the food had so much power over me and I just felt so horrible. And this is the first holiday season. Like this isn't the first time I've lived in a big city and I thought about that a couple of weeks ago where I was like, I used to live in Atlanta and I legit, even when I had kids, never went and did anything with them for the holidays. And I love Christmas. Like Christmas is my holiday, it's my season. It brings me so much joy. So here, now, I'm not thinking of holidays and then equating it to food and eat as much food as you can because January 1st is gonna be here and then January 1st, then you can worry about it. Then you can take off the weight. No, not here, not this year. And because I have stayed away from the food and I have made family and the holidays and the magic of it my priority, I have done so many things with the kids and I still have so many things planned. And we have 10 days left until Christmas. And I just have never felt better. I'm so positive, I feel amazing, I am so energetic. Why would I want to bring toxic things back into my life when I walked away from them for a reason? And that was a big struggle for me to see, well, Jill, if you just get on the scale, you would just do this, if you would just do that, then you can salvage your channel. And then it came to me, the thought came to me, Jill, someone, not someone, there's a lot of people that need to see the way that I'm doing things over here on my channel. So I'm gonna keep doing what I'm doing. Everyone else can keep doing what they're doing. And if you don't agree with my journey, you don't have to announce it to the world. You don't have to announce it in the comment section. You can just say, this is not for me, and I'm gonna move on. And that's it. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I do wanna say too, real quick, as far as my workouts and what I've been doing for workouts, I have just been working out Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays to start out because first I wanted to focus on healing my mental health and then also getting the food under control. And now that I have like 50, I'm almost like two months in, now that I have almost 60 days under my belt, I feel confident with all of those things that I'm going to start incorporating workout or working out, but I'm also not gonna go from zero to 100 overnight. So I'm starting with Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and that's what we're going to do. And yeah, I'm thinking, okay, not 100%, I'm thinking I might do a 75 hard-ish kind of challenge starting in January. Let me know if you want in. I might, I'm really dabbling in thinking about doing it. So it might happen, it might not, but I'll keep you guys updated and I'll keep you guys updated again on what I'm doing for workouts. As far as what I'm doing, it's really just whatever I feel like that day. So when I wake up Wednesday morning, if I feel like dancing, I'm gonna go dance. If I feel like taking a walk, I'm gonna go take a walk. If I feel like doing a full body workout, I'm gonna do a full body workout. So it just all depends on how I feel. But yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed. I have missed you guys so incredibly much and I'm sorry for my absence, but I really needed to get my mind straight and really think, what do I want to do with this channel? Where do I wanna take it? Is it really, I really was losing motivation on why am I even doing this anymore? You know, thinking like no one cares, even though I know people do. I'm gonna continue 
because again, I know that this is what I'm supposed to be doing. So anyways, huge thank you to Built Bar for sponsoring this video. Again, these are the absolute best. I highly recommend while they have them, get them and stock up. And yeah, link is down below in the description box for you guys to save 10% off. I love you guys so much. I hope that you're having the best holiday season ever. I know I am. I have been enjoying my new city. I have been enjoying the heck out of my kids, my new apartment my new friends. I have just been having so much fun and I've also been working a lot too. <laughs> so yeah, I love you guys. I hope that you're having an amazing day and a very happy holidays and Merry Christmas and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.